A recent train derailment in Ohio forced several neighbors to evacuate because of a risk to toxic gas. If you lived in Minot for a while, you may remember a time when you were in a similar situation. Kiara Brown spoke with state leaders to learn what plans are in place if it happens again. Our state is no stranger to train derailments. In 2002, 31 rail cars derailed in Minot, resulting in a spill of 200,000 gallons of anhydrous ammonia. A large number of residents living near the derailment site were evacuated. One man died and many others were treated for chemical exposure. The chemicals vaporized in the air, forming a toxic cloud that drifted over much of Minot, similar to what's happening in Ohio. That's a day many residents will never forget, and it's part of what sparked our state's departments to come together and create an emergency plan for these situations. Yeah, that was definitely an eye opener on what the impacts from from a, a release uh, could be. Um, some things we learned is the importance of communication, how to get that information out to the public in a timely manner. And some of that I think was adjusting to how that has changed over time as well. State leaders say in the case of a train derailment, which causes a chemical exposure, law enforcement and first responders would be first on the scene. They would then relay the emergency to tribal and county emergency management teams who would notify residents via phone and TV. We do have a really good team, the Department of Emergency Services, um, the North Dakota Department of Environmental Quality, um, again, the Department of Transportation, of uh, working together in any type of hazardous material situation. As our state continues to grow, updates are needed in our state's rail plan for training and safety in case of a derailment. The Department of Transportation is now required to update the rail plan every four years because of the variety of materials we transport in North Dakota. In the past, in the 1930s and 40s, North Dakota would, you know, be a big wheat producer and, you know, corn and, and soybeans perhaps. But uh, we've really diversified like what we've uh, started to transport. Leaders want our state to continue to play a vital role in not only oil and gas transport, but fueling the world's energy products safely as well. For KX News, I'm Kiar Brown. The last significant train derailment in our state was in 2013 when 476,000 gallons of crude oil spilled in Castleton. The BNSF reported damages of $13.5 million. No residents or staff were injured in that event.